Hello and welcome, or hello, as you usually do, when I want to wake you up from the standby mode. And, um, yeah, let's load the game. We ha don't have to delay any longer. And let's see if I can actually find the game. <laughs> it was quite a while ago I actually played this. Uh, let's see. Can't I actually find the save? Did I cloud save it? I just realized I can't find the game. Here's the Argentina save. Here's the German save. One second, um, I will have to check very quickly. I think I might have played with another version of the game, so I will just have to pull this over. <laughs> well, this was an awesome start of the game. Uh, let's see, Paradox folder, Paradox folder, but I could at least pull up the chat so I actually can see what you are writing. Because this is embarrassing. <laughs> let's see, save game, save games. There's the auto saves. Holy shit! I can't actually find any save game of this. Have we actually lost it? I think we actually might have lost it. Whoa! That sucks! That actually really really sucks! Oh, yeah, it seems like I lost the game. <laughs> have you played anything else since then? Yeah, I have played with uh, a mod that um, a couple of my QA friends made. A sanity mod, kind of. But, yeah, I don't have, t I don't have the save game anymore. How can this be? <laughs> um, I don't get it. I must have it. I'm gonna restart the game really quickly. I just double check that. That I didn't do anything weird or. Hashtag blame Daniel. Yeah, I think that's very much valid right now. Um, <laughs> hashtag blame Daniel indeed. Um, Alright, um, if this doesn't solve itself, do you want me to play something else or should I play with the Netherlands? Since, well, I, I'm pre pretty much free and uh, it really sucks. I stole the save so I could watch from the start. Yeah, I wish you had. Yeah, I don't have the save anymore. That really, really sucks. How could it have disappeared? It doesn't make any sense. I know that I saved it, but... So, yeah, um... <laughs> I don't know, um, you want me to play Hearts of Iron? You want me to play... Um, I'll have to solve this. It might be on my other hard drive, and it might just not show up for some goddamn reason. So, um... This really sucks. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, you want me to play... I mean, it's not your safe load, you're pretty boned. Um, I... M did I pull it to work for anything? I don't think so. So, yeah, hoi hoi, uh, maybe Portugal and take back South America. Yeah, that could probably work. Um, so... Well, I'm a bit off now. Like, how could this happen? But I guess this is the tricky thing about live streaming and just going straight ahead without any plan in mind and you have to just improv improvise and do fun <laughs> and something other fun so um let's see let's see what have the chat been saying um play portugal you for play estland do hoy but not netherlands go for resi resis That's because you don't have your aviator goggles. <laughs> Go for Rexis Belgium. Play China, play Comi Denmark. 
I think I'll have to pull this forward, just make a straw poll and take a couple of nations. Let's see, let's bring up chat again and then uh, country. Netherlands. Someone wanted uh, Norway. Someone wanted Belgium. Uh, one want Denmark, but I hope you don't vote for it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Portugal, Portugal. That was something more you wanted. Portugal, Yugoslavia, Estonia. Uh, Oman, Portugal, Fascist Netherlands. I second China. Then I will write to China too and then post in the chat. Everything is that. Um, let's see, I think I will allow multiple poll answers, just to, if people don't care about which two nations, then we'll see. So, please vote in the chat below, and we'll see what the next one is, since that really sucks. So, next time, before you do anything regarding Paradox saves, or move it, or do anything, make a dub, just... Just save it twice on more than one area. So we have China, we have Portugal. Estonia is also getting a lot of votes. Estonia actually passed China. No, uh, it's passed Portugal. Um, Portugal passed Estonia again, but China is still playing strong as first lead. Um, I think I might even just throw out this poll on Twitter for now. Um, yeah, I will just throw it out very quickly. Well, I lost my save file. Um, uh, make a new game as the nether. Um, what to play next? Vote now. And then link to straw poll. Hmm, seems like I messed up and actually lost my save file. Yeah, that's... Ah, I'm so irritated at me right now. So, I will just delay, I don't know, five minutes or so. And we'll see. So, meanwhile, that happens. I don't know. And a Q&A, maybe? Some, just some, if you have some questions to me, just tell them and I will try to answer them. So, I'm really, 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 really sorry for this. So, um, uh, what keyboard is that? It's so tactile. Um, let's see. I'm, I don't actually know. Um, let's check. I don't have the box anyway. Um, whatever. I just need to post all my stuff down there. Where's your save? Yeah, it's gone. I don't know how, when, or why, but it's gone, and it sucks. What? <laughs> what was that with cat catapults? Okay, um, we had team building with the QA team last, yeah, yesterday, and uh, we built catapults. Or the two other team built trebuchets, and I built me and my team built a catapult. So yeah, that was actually really fun and uh, surprising. They worked surprisingly well, even though all of ours broke after a couple of tests. Um, will you do an MP with Quilla, Roomba and perhaps Shendri? I would love to do an MP with them, but um, they're really busy, different time zones, but I would totally be up for that. What brings you to work in the video game industry? Well, I kind of uh, always wanted to vote or work with games for that reason like I loved games when I was super small so I said can I play games for a living and yeah I can so I kind of went for that I do more than play games now <laughs> but uh, it's really fun and I just I always want to do that my entire life so I went with that any plans for any kind of MP soon yes or soon and soon most likely around Christmas so uh, it, it will be when I, when I have some kind of vacation, since it takes a lot of time to set that up. 
first to save now the keyboard box <laughs> yeah i seem to have lost a lot of stuff um do yugoslavia we'll see what votes say oh god i didn't have yugoslavia on sorry um so you defeated ddr jake um i'm trying to figure out a reason when i have probably only in a hoy match like multiplayer in the office but no not in any EU4 game, he's unfortunately better than me, but never tell him that. Place Austria, 1 plus siege ability, didn't you study game design? Yes, I have studied game design at the f at Future Games, it's a very work-centered work centered education and um, I learned everything I knew from there, all from game design, level design, QA, though I have learned much more when I well started working with it so yeah but it gave me a really good base ground for and for the education why not play switzerland we'll see you should have come here earlier so i would have put in that in the straw poll and let's see make a runoff poll between top three that's that's a lot of work and people are people are here because they want to see me play the game and not just have me talk all the way all the way um All right, let's check the straw poll. It seems like China will be the w winner. Maybe we should wait a tiny bit longer. Just to double check the results and uh, I can just repost it here in the chat since we seem to have grown. Yeah, exactly. There's the poll. And um, yeah, just to since Netherlands save file are gone and we need to do something else. That sucks. I had real fun with the Netherlands campaign, so we'll see. Is China gonna going to be PRC or China? It's gonna be China. Uh, I'm going to tell him. You gonna tell who? Oh, oh, Jake. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm here to make you see straw polls. Okay, we have one person who wants me to straw polls all the way. Um. Clunchy is the one I like a bit. A good point, forget about that one. <laughs> communist China, Belgium, let it be communist China. Uh, where's Andy Kree 98 and how's your day been going besides the save issue? Uh, my day has been really well. I had this birthday kind of dinner today since my entire family has been busy the entire week. So we decided to have it today. So it was quite awesome. I'm so full and I'm almost about to die. Um, where's Andy? I don't know. I can actually try to pull him in. Let's check the chat. Oh, yeah, here. Send him a message. Uh. So, I sent him a short message. <laughs> All right, all right. Now let's check the pa uh, check the stroll or the poll, and then we will pick the one that's in the lead. Seems like China. It will be China. <laughs> and I will just put myself as busy so we don't have more sky. <laughs> okay, it seems like Andy's coming right now, and we will be playing China. So um, a couple of you at least asked me who in China. So I guess you, I will just take the thing you're talking about the most. So China or people travel to China, Shanxi, Cyber, Cyber Sanma or the cliche. Which you want? Which of the Chinas do you want? So Andy, just to get you up to speed, um, I seem to have lost my Netherlands save. So uh, we're doing some last minute fixing and trying to get something else that people might want to see. And uh, Pwn Ice, thank you for follow. PRC, 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 China, China, PRC, a lot more PRC than actually China. Oh wait, China, 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 PRC, Tibet, Tibet, China, cliche. <laughs> we would actually have to make a... Andy, could you actually make a short straw poll about this? about which China we should play. It, I think that would be much more clear to see than this. How, okay, meanwhile, hopefully you are doing that. 
I will answer the question, how did you come to Paradox? So, it was with my game education, I had a half a year of uh, just learn to work, or wh whatever it's called, learn to work. So, yeah, I asked for Paradox, I asked Paradox like if they are interested in any free work to be done, they said yes, so I worked as a QA for five months before they hired me. And um, yeah, ever since then I've been there, so in total I've been at Paradox for 2 years and 24 days now, so I've had it pretty awesome. And um, I still love it there, and I wouldn't change it. <laughs> Fly high with China, yeah, I may maybe we'll do something like that, but we'll see. Japan is a quite difficult enemy to actually deal with. They're doing lots of naval invasions in the sides here, so it could be better just yes, to join as, yeah, the cliché or San, Sanma, to just try to kill China at the same time as Japan is killing them, so we'll see. Um, cavalry bonus. <laughs> um, what, uh, were your sides set on Paradox from the beginning or just by chance? I hadn't actually known very much about Paradox before we actually had the QA course at my at my at Future Games. So uh, yeah, Paradox had this QA course. I got to know Paradox and their games, and they felt like pretty awesome people. So I applied there. So it was a bit by chance, but um, now when I when I got to know them, I'm super happy about my shorts and wouldn't take any other company. Okay, this should be it. So, I will take my vote secret. Um, let's see, I want... I would like to play as these people. Though it doesn't really matter. Seems like people are voting on the cliché. That's gonna be quite cliché-ish. Uh, make cliché great again. <laughs> I should probably have a chat open for this kind of stuff, but we'll see. Uh, let me know if I forgot anything. No, really, f that's best. <laughs> no Tibet, outrageous. Well, they're kind of not China. They're outside the China Sparrow influence. When Goku starts as a puppet, no. Oh, oh, no, I would not have liked to play them. Never. That's way too hard. That's way too hard. No. But um, I want to play something independent and do something crazy. Go a bit more with chat themed game now since yeah this completely blew up they're China now <laughs> they're China now so yeah let's check the chat and not delay the game anymore or the vote the PRC is second place while the winner is the cliche so we're gonna just take this copy it and then switch the header to Hearts of Iron. Send the name it make. I'm just gonna have it plain with just the country since I don't know exactly what we will be doing now with it. So take up the chat, take up the followers log, pick the nation and oh god they actually have a leader now. We're neutral so we can do whatever we want in political ways I don't know I'm gonna say the third cliche since that's the f or actually just the cliche but if we get fascist it's a third cliche <laughs> since I, I won't even try to pronounce the Chinese names and yeah that would just be horrible okay so what do you want strong a uh, strong Germany yes or no strong Italy yes or no and just all the way down so this will be a 100% custom game by you. Maybe some more navy gameplay. I haven't seen much of that in your vid streams. Yeah, I, I was going with that for the Netherlands. Much more air gameplay and navy gameplay. But that was just lost. Everything was lost. Uh, yes, all strong, all strong. Strong Italy. Well, I could just do this and say more like, which nation do you not want strong? I think that's more easy. All strong except Japan. Okay. That would make it easier for me. Make America strong again. Strong Poland. 
if only that, if I only could do that. Uh, for those of you who have been asking, then Discord server is now open for all of you to jump on. Yes! Awesome that you actually posted it. Uh, a link should be down, down below and it should work for everyone. So, yeah. Cliché is pronounced as click, according to my pronunciation dictu <laughs> dictionary. Everyone except Germany. Not strong France. Okay, you have only said not strong France and not strong United States. Oh wait, actually, we have 1-1 one, one on United States. Strong France, okay. It seems like you are very not even on who you want strong and who you don't want strong. So I think I'll just play with strong everyone, since that makes it a bit more fun. Uh, we have France here, we'll probably take out Yunnan ourselves. Probably British Rye, since England only have these positions and we will probably want them. We'll try to make peace with China and kill Japan with them. So yeah, it will be interesting. Just strong everyone. Everyone except Germany. No strong China. <laughs> I don't want to die. Since Japan get war goals on me. Um, yeah, we're pretty much say strong and not strong for each and every country. So we'll play with strong everyone. We'll play with regular since I'm a scrub and I actually want to play something and not min-max everything. So it will give me a bit more room to do more fun stuff. And uh, we'll play with historical or not. Let's not play with historical so the war between China and Japan can happen any second. So I think we're ready to go and start the game. So first order of business, let's save the game. <laughs> this became a very long video without anything happening so Thanks that you're still staying here, and we will finally begin the game. And as a uh, starting shot, um, thank you Spatsik100 for the follow. But sorry for slaughtering your name, since I most likely slaughtered it right there. So they have one unit. I've actually not played as these in forever. Which, in forever, I mean forever, forever. I probably played with them last time in the alpha of the game, so I don't know. Uh, why bother saying if you're just gonna lose it? Oh, snap. So, um, first order of business. Fascist, communist, or democratic. And this seems a bit weird. There's actually no pictures here. Anyway, fascist, communist, democratic. I will go whatever you want. Um, will the peanut cat fleet live again? <laughs> oh, right, you actually... That was actually what named. I don't have a, a single ship now or a single dockyard, so that might be a bit hard in the beginning. And we barely have any tech slots at all either. <laughs> but we do have tech for it, so nice. Fascist, fascist, democratic, communist, fascist, democratic, fascist, fascist, neutral, democratic, democratic, fascist, communist. <sighs> Should we really have a third straw poll? It looks like fascists are winning by, yeah, I don't know, 3 to 1. Maybe we should have another straw poll. <laughs> Someone is still shouting for PRC. Yeah, it looks like fascist. I don't think the other ones can win. So, yeah, we'll do fascist. Um, first of all, I will actually research to get better infantry equipment. Uh, do you know if communist force annexes you into the uh, PRC? <laughs> Democratic says Andy. Fashion is too easy for you. Hello friends, I'm glad to try playing. So let's talk about football. <laughs> oh, you bastard, Illumi. You bastard. So fascist, fascist, fascist too easy. Communist and fascist is really similar in my opinion. It's just fascist gives me a bit more manpower. Communist gives me a bit more recovery rate and national unity. Tokura says go communist, democratic. Actually, okay, let's just pull up another straw poll. It will take a while before we get the political power to actually do this. So, Andy, it would be lovely if you actually do, do that one more. Yes, fascist, communist, or democratic. Or neutral, actually. Or neutral. We don't actually have to change yourself. So, yeah. So, first of all, we're still going to take political effort. And we are going to see. Uh, we have two ready. And we have... 
just this is a bit hard should we focus on it or should we not I think we really just need a strong land army in the beginning but we barely have anything to build with what are our current laws all right I think we'll do start with just two civilian factories straw poll how does neutral work they're kind of like democratic but not as restrictive if I if I correctly think like that or if I'm correct so um, if I'm correct to think like this or something like that I don't know let's just begin the game now we are waited way too long actually resources what do we have we have steel and tungsten oh that's actually lovely that's actually really really nice the two do we have an air force of any kind no okay we have nothing except steel and tungsten which is really good but other than that nothing at all Do you ever build forts yourself? Yes, I do, definitely. Like, if I knew that France would place a really strong force here, I would probably have one or two forts in these areas if I had the factories for it. I can say one thing where it's really good to build forts is as Germany. To build forts along this coastline. It will really help you in blocking off all naval invasions from England and France. So we'll see. Um... Building things, I'm, I'm building things. You got steel factory, so yeah, yeah, take it easy. I'm, I'm building stuff. Um, another reason, if you're playing Italy, it could be really good to just upgrade these forts a bit more. And also, if you want to go to war with Germany, you can build forts this line. Um, a Soviet Union, I don't see a reason to. A Sweden or Denmark, forts here or here are really, really, really good. Uh, Finland has way too much trouble with it Norway is the same it could be quite well with United Kingdom if you believe you're getting attacked by other nation just to fill at least the lower parts with forts since you have a lot of civilian factories Turkey is also one really good example depending on where you attack from to build forts here or here most likely here if you have enemy troops all the way in here you're pretty much screwed so we'll see and uh, yeah speed file let's go and let's check that straw poll now and I actually don't care which we're gonna play so we have fascist at 18 votes we have democratic at 12 neutral at 7 and communist at 7 I want kind of a larger win percentage so I'll just post it again and hope you vote on it a bit more those who of you who accidentally missed it so we'll see by the way, <laughs> you're still doing the Netherlands series? I would love to do the Netherlands se series, but I unfortunately lost the save file. And I'm really sorry about that. And I have no clue where or why or how it even happened. So I'm, I'm as confused as you are. Or actually, I'm probably more confused than you are. You probably think I screwed up, which I probably did somehow. But I have no clue where it is. So yeah, that sucks. Hmm. All right, let's see if we have a commander actually. No. Let's actually make him a field commander right away. So we get experience in field commander stats than just the normal stats. Uh, do you ever have trouble in, uh, trouble in a hoy game, like a big country, not Luxembourg or ever trouble yes I have actually had trouble as a larger nation though now it's a, a tiny bit hard to have trouble if I do something a bit more weird which I'm not used to it can get a bit troublesome but um, I know really well how the AI is playing and how to get around it okay um, I need to use my political power now so your vote have decided that we're gonna play fascist by actually a much larger mar margin now 52% to democratic 20% so you voted fascist and I will bring you fascism or I will actually bring you freedom and uh, yeah you pretty much voted in fascis fascism we did the democratic way and the democratic way wanted fascists
How many hours do you have in Hoi 4? Um, what's it said? Steam tells me I have uh, 2.4 thousand hours. So 2,400 hours. But it's most, most likely more around 3,000 or something. Voted for fascism. Lol. That's how it happened in history. <laughs> Hitler was invited. Or he was voted on until he got enough votes. Train a few divisions, by the way. We don't have enough equipment to the ones we already have. So I'm waiting a tiny bit with that. And I also want the new weapons as quickly as possible. Almost forgot. Um, uh, let's see. I've actually not played a very small nation like this in a very long time, so we'll see. Um, we're playing with non-historical focuses, so they could go to war at any moment. So, here's the large question. Of course I will pick this, but... I'm fig trying to figure out if I should go for a bit more factories earlier, since we are very, very, very low on that, or if we want to go for... Let's see, how many factories do you have? One, three, that's not a lot. Philippines, you are protected by the US. Netherlands, I can't do you. Australia, I can't attack you either. So it would really be just Yunnan. France uh, or Siam, we can't attack since we don't have any naval forces. I think we need to be Here's actually three naval dockyards. Yeah, this will be actually quite surprising. Take that as the second one we do. So we actually have some naval buildings, so we can actually produce a navy, so we can actually go around and attack someone. So, uh, construction effort, make Tibet shine great again. Naval effort take uh, to take Siam. Yeah, exactly, I didn't even see that you wrote it, but you figured it out quicker than me. Create a faction with Japan. China will grow larger. Can you rename the army to the real Chinese liberator? <laughs> we we build for China. Yes, restore Imperial China to its rightful glory. As the third cliche. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I feel really dumb now. <laughs> I I won't ever like hashtag blame Daniel for losing an entire series. Have never been more true and real as it is today. This time I will actually accept the hashtag blame Daniel. To my heart and just accept it. <sighs> Let's get that experience going as quickly as possible. No one will ever notice that money is missing. What? <laughs> Thank you, Crash Test. Daniel did nothing wrong. <laughs> Hashtag blame Daniel for losing game <laughs> losing an entire game series. <laughs> we are witness history. Daniel Portugal next time. We, we, I will actually check the, f uh, the series and see what's the second one, second most voted one, just to see, yeah, whatever my next series may be. Um, let's see. We're gonna go fascist, we're gonna do this. We're already really behind in technology, so let's pick technology speed. We have this one. I think I wanna go fascist now. Yeah, and research lot is a really good reason to go down that path. So first, a couple of convoys. After this one, no, wait. After this one, so seventy days more, we will start going down just this entire tree to get this research slot, and we will probably make a, a faction with someone just to get this one because it's one extra research slot. So we'll see. Daniel, Daniel has awesome hair. I like that hashtag. Daniel Stad, come on, Matt Blue Shift. Now you're just being weird. Again. Um, it was Estonia. Feels bad, man. What? Estonia went past and won? No, it's still China. It's still China. Don't trick me like that. I was really afraid that I messed up once more. <laughs> Um, Daniel did something wrong, but it's okay because shit happened. Shit was his fault, so blame Daniel. Oh, come. <laughs> I thought there was some ins inspirational thing you're gonna have now, and it's just ended with hashtag blame Daniel. <laughs> uh, did you stop with the Dutch campaign? <laughs> oh, really? You're asking that right now, Spartan? 
Oh, I messed up and I lost the save. Uh, Schmidt Gaming 2730, <laughs> thank you for the follow. And sorry for slaughtering your, ga uh, slaughtering your name. And sorry for... M <laughs> and uh, actually getting followers, even though I screw up this much. Alright. <laughs> so we need this tech as much as possible. And we need more production cap. Collectivist Eros. Yes, please. And now Naturalist. And then we're going for tech slots. Oh, I just tuned in. Okay. Actually, we have been... Have we been doing this for 40 minutes and we haven't done a single thing in the game now? A lot of democrat <laughs> democracy takes a long time. Voting, having opinions, voting <laughs> even more, and then nothing happens. That's why we need the fascist leader of the third cliche to bring our country from ruin to greatness. Do you know how Florivori is? Yes, I know who Florivori is. I've been hosting him a couple times, but not a lot. Um, I didn't know who he was before a couple months ago, so... Holy, holy Daniel in the beginning there was only salt. <laughs> yeah, I was salty. I have no clue. I'm still a bit grinding my gears. Why? Why the save is gone? It shouldn't be. I have no clue. <laughs> 15% national unity, that's pretty w good, but not in this situation, since we have really good one and we don't plan to get annexed by anyone. Um, industrial concerns. Hey Daniel, did I miss anything important yet? Yes, you did. I messed up and lost my Netherlands save game. Sorry. Oh, right, here. We went with this one as the Netherlands and realized it was really good. And since we have barely any tech at all, we will probably change tech a lot during this game. So I will be going with Disperse Industry. What what do you mean with med plutonium tvinga vi Daniel på knä? Okay, it's a weird Swedish video where someone is saying that we are bringing the Danish down with uh, nuclear plutonium. plutonium. So um, he has changed Denmark to Daniel. Wait, do you plan on getting annexed by anyone? No, I don't plan to, but I've never... S yeah, it might happen. Why Why is Disperse so good, Daniel? Well, Disperse is really good since we have buffed it a lot. Uh, let's actually see it like this. Ma max factory in the states, both 20%. Factory output, 20%. Factory output, 10%. So, 10% difference. But factory bomb vulnerability, since we're probably going to have a smaller air force than the enemy it's pretty good to have production efficiency base plus five percent that one is amazing just everything you start at ten percent no it's gonna start on fifteen percent and that's just with level one retention when you switch change product change in production efficiency loss when changing what production line produces so we'll keep ten percent more of it so instead of going back to ten percent or fifteen percent even we'll lose ten percent less and so, it has a lot of small bonuses that are really good. Then it also didn't plan on losing a save. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't nerfed Dispersed Industry again. Since we went from, oh, no one is picking it, to I think a lot of people are picking it. Since it's really, really good. And uh, let's see. We can't barely do a lot You're just waiting to, waiting to become fascist is it balanced though yeah i don't know i think production if i think dispersed industry is a bit overpowered right now but um so far i don't think people are complaining either you get those 10 percent extra output and get a bit more equipment a bit more building speed or you get um, less factories getting destroyed by bombers less factories or more efficiency and stuff all that Daniel, what's your share? I need it. Um, well, um, a racing share. It's really nice and actually I'm really happy with my bot for this share. This share was one of the best things I've been doing. I don't know, I play games a lot and I need a good share. So I don't know what model or anything. And uh, I should just take some time and just write down all the stats and all... 
the, all the things I have. So people are asking me a lot, so I should just write it down. I've, I'm just gonna make a small note of this, so I finally do this. Okay. Stats. Twitch. Do it. Just do it. Okay, so hopefully that would be up now. Is the AI better than it was in 1.1? Yes, it is. In my opinion, at least. I haven't actually played with a lot since I'm on EU4 right now, so... We'll see. We'll discover it together. Uh, Daniel, I demand that you finish the Great Wall of China throughout your country. Uh, throughout your country. It's free because Mexico will pay for it. <laughs> what? Uh, people unite. Wait till fresh become the public. Yeah. Let's see. We're gonna take this by force. <laughs> I just wanted to see if we can actually do it. <laughs> Protect the capital while we try to take theirs. Oh, we lost. <laughs> of course. I'm just gonna do like this. Oh, we <laughs> it actually auto saved over it. Oh wait, I picked the wrong save. <laughs> I yeah, it's barely impossible to win civil wars if you don't prepare for them really for a really long time. I just want to show you how it really happens if you do a uh, civil war without any preparations or any help for anyone else. So, just remember don't ever do civil wars if you don't have a really good then this screw up no I knew it would happen <laughs> so yeah never do civil wars especially not in multiplayer you're gonna lose so much from it and even if you win this massive hard playthrough of this you're gonna lose because so much <laughs> you lost shut down the stream right now no I'm never gonna do it. Excuses, Daniel, nothing wrong. <laughs> um, I tried the right civil war. Impossible when UK, UK, UK joins. Yes. It's really hard, it's really hard. Um, let's just check. Yeah, I'm playing with the right version of the game. <laughs> uh, what's your name? My name is Daniel, and yeah. Daniel loves civil wars. He is... I just... He's a Nike sponsor, just do it, just do it. No, I'm more like a Shia LaBeouf sponsor in that way, like, just do it. Just do it. So, yeah. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf sponsor. So, um, I noticed we just turned fascist now instead, we were so close to getting that event. So, um, let's see, I think we want to switch up to partial mobilization right now. I don't see any reason why not to do it. Um, Infrastructure, yes please. And we also have a war goal. Um, oh god, I forgot we need to save some political power for this. Let's see, we need how much? 30 more. Do they have any good factories? One free still. So yeah, not the best. Any fun nations to play in EO4? I would say Salzburg. Really hard and if you ma manage to do it and uh, yeah, congrats. <laughs> I thought it was really fun to play as Salzburg, even though I got crushed the first time. Um, you could play with mods sometimes, maybe. Yeah, I could. But uh, I'm waiting for the big mods going on, like New World Order and stuff like that, to be finished before I actually do it. Like I said, mods are fun if they're really well done. And otherwise in that, I'm a bit like, it feels off. I like really well done mods. Salzburg or Salzburg? Salzburg, of course. Salt. Salt. They even have a salt mine, so it can only be Salzburg. We're gonna go People's Army because of the extra... Like, this one, Infantry Recovery Rate, and this one is so great. Infantry Combat Width, minus 0 0.4, and Recruitable Population, 5%. It, there's no argue to that. And we actually had this public power for quite a while now, and I forgot about it. So and then the Hindenburg event is randomized. Sometimes fire and sometimes not, yeah. Infrastructure, yes please. Infrastructure level two. Um play the game. He likes high quality mods like the Daniel mod. <laughs> yeah, that's a real high qual quality one one. You can't barely play the game. Once you start playing with it, you 
barely can't play without it because of the nice faces of me all the time. War with China, so it seems like it's happening right now. A bit too early for my liking. And actually we have lots of equipment now. We should have been producing this for quite a while. We actually have experience too. Um, let's actually just do this, this, this and this and check the equipment. Minus 8000. So let's do this. First of all I want to fill up to a normal size division. That's three, three units, three units. So we need three more at least. And we can't even get to that amount. So first of all a big normal unit. This is good enough. I like to have at 8 to 11 or something. So we'll see. Um, let's see. By the way, the Black Ice mod for Hearthstone is really good. You should play it sometimes. I will have to try it then. Uh, my leader right now is Hisia Tian, a Genio portrait, yes or no. And we're playing the third cliche. Guan Xi cliche. But that's hard to say, so just the third cliche. No offense or anything, but I'm gonna say the third cliche. Alright, we can finally produce some military factories right now. And we really need them ASAP. And we'll see how China will do. We, are, we have been powering up all nations to the max, so we'll see. And before this actually happens... I'm gonna save scum even more and make another save here. I'm dying for the Great War mod to come out. You're dying for it? Well. Alright, let's see. They declared war now. Extra research slot, please. Japan declared war on China. Bum 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 bum. Ba bum ba bum. So we have two choices right now. Either we help China or we kill Japan with the help of them. So Tell me, want me to help China or should we try to um, kill China and grab as much territory as possible? Uh, no, we must fight off the invaders. Actually, we have to? Really? We have to join them? Oh, apparently we have to join them. Help China, help China, help China, help China. A lot more help China than kill China. So it seems like, well, we barely have kill, 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 kill. Okay. So we will have to help them and then kill them. Uh, challenge me to play with the black ice mod. We'll see. So we, we will kill China. But uh, it seems like we have to help them first. We must fight off the invaders. Oh wait, actually. We're not in a war with them right now. Okay, we can leave faction, we can just leave the faction. We can just leave the faction, I thought it was automatically invade. Okay, um, I'm just gonna make this draw poll once again since this seems to be the theme we have for Se seems to be the theme of this stream just straw poll everything alright and I'm posting this in the chat right now Uh, the, the world's most democratic fascists. <laughs> okay, yeah, that could be, maybe be the f theme of this. The mo world's most democratic fascist. Yeah, I actually like it. I actually like it. Um, disperse industry. Well, it all depends on what we're going to do. If we're going to kill them, we're probably going to go military. If we're not going to kill them, we're probably going to go industry. So, wait a couple seconds. And let's check the chat or the poll right now. Okay, there's a lot more on kill than actually help them. So we're gonna kill China. So, um, hello, this faction. Leave it. 
So we're not gonna do this, but we so we we're gonna begin with taking them, but they of course annex them, so let's just fight against China. And hopefully Japan will do large advantage in China so we can actually return and grab some territory. And because of this we should probably not have maxed out our units this much. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. We need units, we just need enough units now to at least cover the border. And so yeah, just max out infantry equipment. We're the true Chinese, sort of. <laughs> just a massive line like this and hopefully they can force them to pull off units. Otherwise we are pretty much screwed. Army offense, since offense is the only true defense. Um, where to go with Division 6? What? Okay, extra research slot. Anti Comintern Pact. Sure, let's join the Anti Comintern Pact. And uh, here we have construction or ornaments or military. Um, that does not really help us since we have a lot of military power, so we're gonna do go with ornaments. And here we are probably gonna go. Let's see, we won't get. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, right, right, we have free. We have free right now. Um, let's go this one. Get all advantages we possibly can get. Uh, Twitch plays Vicky 2. Oh, really? <laughs> That could be very interesting. Can you make your own stroke poll? Join Japan or make your own faction? Well, you can of course do it and see what people vote. Um, since I would probably be a bit busy and I'm trying to analyze if we should just declare war instantly or... So yeah, do any stroke polls you want, but just tell me what they are about. <laughs> since yeah, we are very democratic fascist this game. Or this turn at least. <laughs> this time. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch Twitch plays Vicky 2 stream later. Yeah. It sounds amazing, but it seems like absolutely nothing will ever happen. As soon as you're done. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Though you could watch both of them at the same time. He should not have said that. <laughs> well, of course, Phoenix, if you're going overboard, I'm just gonna ban everyone. Since that's the way. I mean, pretend to be democratic, but if I don't like something... Goodbye. The, how would you take over South America and Spain as Portugal? Um, South America and Spain as Portugal. Uh, Portugal might have a bit difficulty with South America since United States defends them. But um, Spain, I would probably go right after the Civil War. Try to time it so you can probably see this side will win the Civil War. So I will have my war goal finished by the time the civil war is finished okay how many more days until we have the war goal uh, right here uh, 100 days you can do you can do votes on whatever you want <laughs> murders anyone who does something <laughs> whoa uh, it seems like they are really busy with Japan and they are slaughtering because they are keeping units against me. Not as many, you have seen them loosing up more and more, so... Oh, they are actually beating back Japan here though. That's bad for me. I hope that I might be able to join up with them. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll just die instantly. That would be embarrassing. But this time I'm not gonna just show off anything, I'm gonna try and win this. But it feels like we need more units. So I'm probably gonna remove one of these. That's bad and good since we will have lots, a couple more units. At least two more divisions. But it's, it's getting quite weak already without artillery. We will have to try to do this with the units we have now. And they're not even well trained so let's train them. What's your favorite doctrine? Um, I don't know. 
I think... I actually think it is land doctrine, since you get smart text right here, like this one. Love it. I absolutely love that one. Um, naval doctrines, I probably like trade with all the wolf pack stuff to really just mess up the other players' convoys and stuff like that. And air doctrines, I probably like strategic destruction, just remove their factories from the map. Doctrine. And here, army group. Let's say infantry designer. Did Poland create its own faction? Um, not yet, at least. Or was I blind? Yeah, they have. They have made their own faction. Never mind. Never mind. They have uh, Lithuania with them at least. And you get out there instantly, <laughs> as soon as possible. Where your air force goggles? Well, I guess right here. But we're not playing Netherlands. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of bummed about that. I think I have to redo the Netherlands Netherlandic campaign someday, or at least maybe try off play offline until we're about the same situation. I guess I could do that, and that would kind of work. I'll get back to you on that. But for now, we have a Chinese campaign. Uh, build up Chinese Air Force right now. You can wear them. <laughs> Netherlandic, Dutch, Dutch, Netherlandic. Okay, yeah, it's the Dutch. Never mind. It's D Dutch, Holland. <laughs> uh, not playing Holland. And whose fault is that? Mine. Because I messed up the save. Sorry. <laughs> mistakes were made. I haven't actually made any mistake like that until now. So. It has to happen someday. And come on, Japan. You have to do this better. I, I can't fight them right now. They're gonna crush me if I do it. I haven't even filled the entire border yet. So at least, well, we have to stop training now and. Um, yeah, try it out. We'll probably lose. Then I shouldn't declare the war. I will wait as long as possible. So, July 18. 1938 Hashtag blame Daniel <laughs> Never blame Daniel. Ooh, a comeback right away Never blame Daniel or hashtag blame Daniel <laughs> All right, let's see they have about the same amount of troops I I have except a click of a cliche, a click of 10 units right here. Otherwise, we should be pretty fine. Um, but I'm gonna make a save game since I'm, gonna, I'm a co coward right now. So, 8th next month. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hmm. We're gonna need support equipment. Uh, let's check. Uh, Matt Blue Shift, come on! You're following me, unfollowing me all the time. <laughs> SNXV, Torne Lund, thank you for the follow, thanks for the support, and uh, I don't know why you're following to me right now since this stream is so messed up, but thank you for the support. Con uh, construction effort level 2. Um, let's do militarism right now. And we're gonna declare war in 17 days. Uh, after saying cliché instead of cliché, uh, we'll teach him how to say join instead of join. No, I'm gonna say the third cliché. Since it's kind of swinglish, then I like it. Why not get the uh, infantry with the doctrine efforts? I'm getting, getting infantry with the doctrine. So 17th. Now. We have to do it now or there won't be anything. You're gonna get